In this video, I will bake sourdough bread and my two ingredient biscuits as I review this enamel cast iron Dutch oven, which I was recently mailed by the Alibu company. Hi, I'm Ron, and recently I was mailed an enamel cast iron Dutch oven from the Alibu company to review, which I'm happy to do, as I include this new Dutch oven in my daily baking. Today, I will be baking two rounds of sourdough bread, one in the red enameled four quart and one in the traditional five quart. The bread has been baking for 30 minutes. Let's see how it looks. Oh my, isn't that bread beautiful? Now back into the oven for 15 additional minutes at 400 degrees. Time to check on the enamel Dutch oven. The bread in the enamel Dutch oven is also amazing. The bread is finished baking and both Dutch ovens did their job extremely well. I usually bake two loaves of sourdough bread daily, and these are the five quart Dutch ovens I use. The main reason I have chosen these is because of their flat lids, making it convenient to stack one on top of the other. As you can see, the red enamel Dutch oven has a stainless steel knob on top. I can still use these two together as long as I remember to remove the five quart lodge from the kitchen oven first allowing me to subsequently remove the red enamel Dutch oven from the kitchen oven. Then I could put the lid with the stainless steel knob on top of the lodge as I removed the baked bread from the red Dutch oven. Also, the four quart red enamel Dutch oven is noticeably smaller than the five quart lodge. And although it did bake my normal loaf of dough, it was a tight fit. If I were only baking one loaf of bread at a time, I would definitely want a lid with a knob or a metal loop on top, like the one pictured here that I used in the state of Washington when I visited my daughter. Here's my normal recipe that fits nicely in a 5 quart Dutch oven, and I also did bake it in the red enamel 4 quart Dutch oven. As an experiment, I reduced all four ingredients by 20% and baked the smaller amount of dough in the 4 quart red Dutch oven. As you can see, this slightly smaller round of dough fits perfectly in the four quart Dutch oven. And after baking, isn't that bread beautiful? Okay, two more things to cover before moving on to other uses of this enamel Dutch oven besides baking bread. Here is my Le Creuset, which I use a couple of times each month when I braise a roast for Sunday dinner. Notice the knob on top. It's made of a material called phenolic and should be replaced with a stainless steel knob if this Dutch oven were ever used in high temperatures to bake bread. Fortunately, the four quart red enamel Dutch oven comes with a stainless steel knob. Lastly, this is in response to a question asked by a student at my last sourdough bread baking class, which was, do you have to use a Dutch oven to bake sourdough bread? In this picture of me, I'm standing in front of professional bread baking ovens. These ovens have steam injectors. Once the dough is placed in the oven and the door is closed, steam is released into the oven. In an effort to replicate this effect for the home baker, a Dutch oven is the simplest tool to use. The lid on the Dutch oven captures all the moisture in the dough, preventing it from escaping. As the dough is baked and the water in the dough becomes steam, the Dutch oven becomes a miniature bread baking oven. Of course, a beautiful enamel Dutch oven is good for much more than just baking bread. Here are some biscuits I baked in the red four quart enamel Dutch oven using my two ingredient recipe. Can't you just picture them on the table as a centerpiece of a meal? I can see this enamel Dutch oven used for chicken pot pie or any number of soups or stews. And when it's not in use, it's much too pretty to put in the cupboard. For more information about this Dutch oven, type Alibu in the search bar at Amazon.com.
Thanks for watching and make it a great day.